What's going on guys and welcome to another video and today we're doing a review on N'Golo Kante. This year has been given a plus 2 boost from 88 to 90 um, and he looks insane. Um, to be honest with you, in terms of his actual stats, not much has changed but like plus 1s in most stats from last year. But it's N'Golo Kante, you know what you're getting with him, you're getting probably the best DM in the game bar like Vieira and Hullet but with those two you're talking probably two, three, four million coins for those. This card currently on PlayStation will cost you about 490 to 500,000 coins. On Xbox for some reason is really cheap at about 380,000 coins. And on PC he'll cost you kind of a similar amount to what it'll cost you on PlayStation around 485 to 490,000 coins. So if you're on Xbox I would say just buy him. If you're on Xbox and you want him, just buy him. Because for some reason, he's like 100k cheaper on Xbox than PC and PlayStation 4. I haven't got a clue why that's the case. But he's very, very cheap on Xbox. So if you've got the money, go ahead and get him. I'm on PlayStation though, and I've spent 480,000 on him. He's actually gone up about 15, 20k since I bought him. And I only bought him about an hour ago. So I was quite lucky there, really. Um, in terms of it, in games, obviously, it's got medium high work rates. It's good for a DM. I think most of you guys are probably playing either as a box to box centre mid or as a CDM. I'm going to play him as a CDM, so that's pretty good. Two star skill moves don't really matter for N'Golo, and three star weak foot, it is what it is, you know. In terms of pace, um, he's got 78 pace with 82 acceleration and 75 sprint speed. Very good. And Spanish, I feel like it feels a lot faster in game than what that says. Obviously, I've given him the plus 10 in both stats as well to make him basically have 88 pace, which feels mad. Uh, in terms of shooting, I mean, does it really matter? No one's going to be taking shots of N'Golo, but he's got 65 finishing, 71 shot power. So I guess if the, sh the chance is fairly easy to finish, he'll probably do it. But he's not going to bag you a lot of goals. In terms of passing wise, um, obviously his passing is not the greatest. Obviously he's got 82 passing and 79 long shots, long 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 pass, sorry, uh, which is decent. It's not great, but it's it, it'll do, it'll do. In terms of dribbling wise, um, he's great. He's got uh, 82 agility, 92 balance, 93 reactions, 81 ball control, 79 dribbling, and 84 composure. But because he's also 5'6 and that low center of gravity. He, feel, he feels insane on the ball and definitely better than what those stats say. I'd probably say that in terms of dribbling, he probably feels more like an 86, 87 on the ball. Uh, defensively, obviously, he's probably one of the best defenders on the game. Uh, 91 interceptions, 90 defensive awareness, 93 stand tackle and 86 slide tackle. So even though it says 87 defending on the actual card, it's more like 89, 90 defending. Because the only reason why it's 87 is because obviously the 54 heading accuracy lowers it down but I don't even really know why heading accuracy is a part of defending I feel like that should probably be more as a shooting stat but nonetheless he's very good at defending uh, in terms of physicals he's obviously got 77 jumping which for a fact player that's 5 6 it really doesn't matter if he's got 77 ju uh, jumping or 22 jumping he's not going to win many headers unless obviously he's in space uh, 97 stamina I think he's probably got the best stamina in the game it's, I don't know. I don't know who's got better stamina than 97, but he's one. Up, he's up there with some of the best uh, stamina in the game. Uh, 72 strength is uh, decent, but he's got the 93 aggression. And to be honest, with you, I feel like as a defender, I'd rather want someone that's aggressive than uh, strong because if you're strong without aggression, you're not really going to be able to win the ball. So 93 aggression is great. 97 stamina is great. 72 strength is decent. Obviously, 77 jumping doesn't really make too much of a difference in my opinion. Um, but yeah, in terms of player traits, it's got leadership, which I don't really know how much that does, if I'm going to be quite frank with you. But it looks insane. Obviously, I spent a big big amount of money on him. And I'm going to tell you if he's worth the big amount of money. All right, Kante gets on the ball straight away. Nice pass. What I'm going to tell you with uh, Kante, right, is he just feels good on the ball. Like, look at this. Like and this is this is faster than what it says. I'm sorry it is. Poor pass there by Paulinho. You know, Ngolo. Poor pass there by Ngolo, but it was under a bit of pressure and probably not the greatest by me to be fair. Oh, Vinicius, man. Nice by Kante there. I didn't even control him there. He did all that on his own. 
and just wins the ball back from him. That's what you get with Kante. You get someone that, even when you're not controlling him sometimes, he'll just win the ball back for you. And uh, just like what he did there. Oh, a bit of lag. Let's, uh, let's, let's chill before lag. But I'm going to put this in the Felipe and this in review. How is that not a foul? Like, am I am I stupid or should that be a foul there? But uh, on Vinicius Junior. Like, I feel like <sighs> nearly got, got uh, nearly got uh, Felipe and this and his sister from uh, I think it's Paulinia or Paulinia. Sorry, that took the that took. But... <laughs> Kante just won a penalty there. Um, okay. I just want a penalty with Kante there, which is quite funny. Can Lukaku put it away? No, he can't. I don't know why I chipped it two times in a row. I shouldn't have chipped it then, but Kante got the penalty nonetheless. Uh, I didn't realise I was I was controlling Kante at the time, and I heel to heel with Kante. It was the worst heel to heel ever because I mean you don't expect Kante to be doing heel to heels, do you? Um, nonetheless, he did win me a penalty there. I just didn't put it away because I'm a bit of a retard. Right, so in full, uh, obviously with Kante, you're going to be buying a guy that he's not going to get you attacking returns. But what he's going to get you is you're going to get a guy that's going to sit in the middle of the park. He's going to de play decent passes, obviously inconsistent. Sometimes he's good, sometimes he's bad. But he's going to read play, he's going to get interceptions, and he's going to win you the ball back. He's not going to be, you know, an incredible player in terms of getting you goals or getting you assists. But what he is, he's just a ball winner, and he's very good at doing that. Um, obviously the first game we won comfortably the guy rage quit in about 20 minutes and Kante was very good in that game and even in the second game Kante was very good in the first half very good in the first half but in the second half for whatever reason the team just fell apart I don't think it was really Kante I think the whole team just fell apart obviously he's had five games with me and in the three games I didn't play on camera because this was uh, ye uh, not yesterday earlier on today I played the other three games it was quality for me and was definitely um, worth the 480k well, We'll get to that actually. So our review of Kante is obviously for value for money. I'm going to give him an eight. I'll give him an eight for value for money because you can't give a CDM who's going to cost you 480,000 coins as of right now, which is the 30th of September. The game hasn't even come out come out in full release yet. The game comes out in full release tomorrow. So 480k for a guy that's a CDM is a lot of money. Uh, so I'll give him an 8 out of 10 for, uh, for value for money. I think on Xbox, I'd give him a 10 out of 10 because 380 is about what I'd say is perfect for him. I think if he was like 430, I'd give him a 9 out of 10. And 380, I'd give him a 10 out of 10. So if you're on Xbox, I think buy him comfortably. 380, you're getting your money's worth. But for 480 on PlayStation, it's a lot of money. So I'd say 480 on PlayStation and 8 out, 8 out of 10 for value for money and in terms of enjoyment out of the car I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10 because even though it's a CDM it feels good on the ball it's gonna just constantly win you the ball back and what's great about Kante is he wins the ball back when you're not even controlling him like you could be controlling another uh, another midfielder and Kante will win the ball back for you so I give him a 9 out of 10 for enjoyment and then obviously an overall rating I'd give him uh, an 8.5 um, no I'd give him a 9 because Although he is very expensive, he's very good. And what what you're going to get with Kante is you're going to get a card that's going to be usable now and probably all the way until Team of the Year when he gets the Team of the Year card. So I'd say for the next probably like three months, he's going to be the best CDM in the game. Obviously, maybe like mid and prime Hullet and Vieira might be better, but they also cost two, three, four, five million. Kante costs nowhere near that much. So I think what I'd say is right now, obviously the 30th of September, so it's quite early on into the game cycle. So spending 480,000 on a card that is only really going to be winning the ball back for you is a lot of money. So I'd say if you've got a team like me uh, where you've already got, you know, a very good attack, a very good defense, and you kind of want someone in that midfield that can control the tempo of the game, then go ahead because he's going to be worth it. But if you're someone that's maybe got a bit of, you know, maybe you've got 600,000 coins to spend and you want to get one big player to make your team round, I wouldn't even get Kante because I think there's better ways of spending 600k. Like if you have 600k and you want to build a team, I'd recommend Pogba for 150. I'd recommend Bruno for like, 
150, 160. Build a team around those two. Or maybe even a KDB. Pogba's a... Pogba, Kante is a good player. But I think Pogba and Bruno as a pairing, uh, if you're going to build a team around them, would be great. So, but if you're like me, where you've got you know probably about a million coins liquid, if you're going to sell everyone, and Kante is only going to really take up about half of your budget, I'd say go ahead because what you're going to get with this guy is you're going to get someone who's going to control the midfield and make attacking a lot more easier. Because I'll tell you now, ever since I've got Kante, I've been attacking the, I've been attacking a lot more in the games because. I spend less time defending because Kante wins the ball back so much quicker. So yeah, that's what I'd say. I'd say uh, get him if you're like me, where you got probably about a million coins liquid if you sold everyone because he's not going to be that big of a investment for you. But if you're someone that's got like six, seven hundred k, I wouldn't recommend him right now. I'd say save up and then maybe in like a you know two or three weeks time, you could uh, reevaluate bringing him into your team. Uh, but yeah, thumbs up from me.